Shalom Chavri, I'm Stephen Bernoulli. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news coming out of Russia. A second terrorist attack. Uh, this time, it is two police officers that are participating in southern Russia, not far from Georgia. Uh, they're participating in a traffic stop or a traffic accident here. I need to warn you now, the images are very disturbing what you're about to see. You're about to see the dash cam uh, of the actual accident there. This actually happened in Astrakhan, uh, Russia there. Let me just quickly take you to Google Maps so you can see where that is at. Uh, again, of course, Georgia, a good ways from there, but you know, being down in the southern part of Russia, uh, north of Azerbaijan and Georgia, uh, and this happening right there, as you can see on your map and behind me here, this location right here, these two officers that were sitting in their car, according to uh, the article here on, uh, on the TV, zvizda.ru, uh, Zviz said the moment of the, sh uh, the shooting policeman and Ostrakhan cam came on video. Uh, it's actually a webcam that they were sharing from the police car itself. The news has been able to show this. It says the moment of the, uh, the killing, the traffic police in Astrakhan was removed on the video uh, recorder of a police car. Now, the thing is, is the video that we actually have does not remove that moment. Uh, so I do warn you, it is graphic there, what you're about to see. Uh, I should say graphic, it is, it is uh, blurry because of it being a dash cam there, but uh, nonetheless, it's still disturbing the fact that the man you see sitting in the car with them uh, gets out of the car and moments later, they slip up beside the car and assassinate both of the police officers that are in the car there. Let me take you right there to it. And uh, you will see actually what happens here on your screen there. Now he gets out of the car, goes goes back. They 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 lower the size of the video. They slip in behind the car there. Now this is some type of traffic incident that has happened. Comes up to the side of the car, and before they even realize what's happening. Uh, you'll just barely see a glimpse of the guy slipping up beside the car. Both officers will be shot at point blank range and killed. Uh, very disturbing uh, images to begin with to see something like this happening. In Russia, after already suffering the, uh, the suicide bombing at the train station, only to have yet another attack. Uh, and, and the man that was in the car definitely knew what was going down. Uh, this was definitely something that was pre-planned. You can see all the different images, the different angles here uh, that was released here. Uh, and then in just a moment, a guy will slip around the side of their car there and shoot. Here he comes now. You can actually see him coming there. Puts the gun inside the window there, shoots this one, and then shot the second guy as well. Both both of the officers were killed. Uh, they did die on the scene from what uh, the police report was saying on this here. Again, another uh, terrorist attack that has struck Russia. Our condolences go out to the families of the, uh, the, of the slain officers' families as well as uh, President Putin. Uh, and the different uh, leaders of Russia, Medvedev, the Prime Minister, Maria Zakharova, the, the spokesman, Peskov, etc., all of them, uh, and also uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov. We do send our condolences for all of Russia for the extreme violence that Russia is now beginning to face and suffer. Uh, as we reported here on Israeli News Live, something that we believe that we that is going on inside of Russia is a an orchestrated effort to try to destabilize Russia, maybe perhaps before an invasion is actually done. Uh, so it is very concerning to us what we see that is happening uh, and, and how things are playing out inside the country there. Uh, also, uh, media hackers have stolen a, the secret plans of the U.S. war against North Korea. Now, the article says South Korea is being translated from, uh, from Russian, but it's actually what it's implying is the secret plans for the U.S. and South Korean war against North Korea. They hacked in to uh, Seoul, Korea and got the very playbook 
that the United States and South Korea are going to use to launch a strike against North Korea. That lets us know that we were dead accurate on what's going on on that. That, by the way, is on life.ru reporting that article as well. And as we said yesterday, Lorenzo had already happened. It was a definitely a definite fact. They had not reached Beirut as of yet yesterday, but the two ships, the U.S. military ships, loaded with military equipment, have reached Beirut and have ported there, getting ready to unload all this military equipment going inside of there. Uh, very troubling indeed. Uh, now, maybe the U.S. is going to be using this on ISIS inside of Syria. We don't know for sure what the purpose uh, of this will all be for. We also know that Russia is conducting more massive drills over in the eastern part of the country there. Also on Lorenzo's site there, he also shared uh, on his site here, very interesting footage here. This is the Turkish government uh, is building military bases inside of Syria. You got that right. Building bases inside of Syria. We know Bashar al-Assad not very happy with that by no means. But again, remember... Uh, we know General Wesley Clark revealed all these Arabic nations that were going to be taken down by the United States, that was including Syria and Iran. Uh, we believe that it was a fake coup from the beginning. We believe that Turkey has been working with the United States all along in order to get boots on the ground inside of Syria. Whether or not Russia is privy to all this or not still remains to be seen. Don't really know the answer to this, but maybe they are. Maybe they are not. I don't know. But if they're not privy to it, and the United States bringing in all this military hardware through Beirut, Lebanon right now, is it fixing to put Russia right in the crosshairs? And does Russia really believe they have a strong ally with Turkey if the U.S. enters in and Russia becomes part of the target under a direct uh, attack trying to dismantle the Assad presidency? I don't know the answer to that. We'll have to wait to see how it plays out. Ser certainly ser serious things are taking place right before our eyes and terrorism also gripping Russia. I'm